Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode about Gutenberg. In this tutorial we're going to continue the implementation that we did the other day about implementing the alignment toolbar in our block controls. Did you finish to it? If you didn't complete the homework that I gave you, don't worry, we're going to do it together right now. This episode is brought to you by Skysilk. If you're looking for an affordable and reliable cloud provider for your website, Skysilk is the answer for you. The intuitive dashboard interface allows you to quickly deploy one of the many built-in templates in just a few clicks, or directly upload your custom ISO. It doesn't matter if you're a senior developer with hundreds of websites or a student looking to experiment with your first cloud server, Skysail can accommodate all your needs with powerful machines starting at just $5 per month. Skysilk also comes with many other perks, like a convenient reward system where you can redeem Sky Points to pay for your VPS, a never growing Discord community, and lightning fast customer support. Click the link in the description below and use the promo code Alicad Skysilk to get 25% off of your personal cloud VPS. Before starting, as usual, let's run our npm run watch. So all the changes that we're doing in our index.js will be reflected in our built component. And here we can continue our implementation. So we implemented this alignment attribute, which is a type of string, default none. And then we implemented the alignment toolbar right here. So what I want to do now, I want to implement the usual on change method in order to change the alignment when this gets updated by the user and reflect that directly in our block. So let's go on another line and let's write on change and let's use the similar convention that we've been using for every custom component here. So we can create a method called on change alignment, something like that, pretty straightforward. And then we can go directly in the rich text element and let's take care of the H2 tag first, and then we will take care separately of the paragraph tag. So here in the style attribute, we're already applying the color inline as a style when the user changes the title color. We can continue by implementing another CSS tag by specifying the text align tag, and then we can pass the alignment variable that we are using as a value in our alignment toolbar. Perfect. Now we need to create these on change alignment method because we don't have it. So we can scroll all the way back up inside the section before the return method where we define all the other functions. So we create a function on change alignment. And as usual, we're passing, we're receiving the new alignment. And in the EU alignment, we can uh, do as usual, uh, set attributes to update our alignment variable with the new alignment. But in this case, this is going to be slightly different because the new alignment, uh, it's possible that we might get an undefined variable because the user in the administration area can uh, disable the alignment, can reset the alignment to nothing. So this variable might be undefined and we don't want to save an undefined value because the attribute that we define only accepts strings. That's why we specified a string, we need to always have and store a string, otherwise we're going to have a JavaScript error. So in our case, we need to check if the alignment is not undefined, let's save this value, otherwise let's save none. So we can simply say that the alignment attribute is going to be equal. And here we can implement a ternary operation that it's basically identical to a condition, but we can write it in line. So we can say that the new alignment variable, is it identical to undefined? If it is, let's return the non string. Otherwise, we can return the new alignment. That's perfect. We can save this and semicolon at the end here. See if our JavaScript compiled properly. Perfect. Let's open our administration area. Let's update this uh, title to let's update this page. Let's refresh. Now, if we select this and we highlight and we put the alignment text center or we put the alignment text left, look what happened. First of all, the tag here, the icon updates based on what we have, what we specify. So if we reselect again, this is properly aligned, which is perfect. And then if we open our code inspector here, our developers tool, and we select that line, we have in the H2, this style, we have text align right. 
we can see that the text alignment here is reflected in the inline style, which is perfect, which is exactly what we want. But of course, if we update this, we save it and we go take a look at the post here, our CSS that we have specified is not getting overwritten by the user settings. So we need to also update the save method in order to reflect the settings of the alignment. So let's do it. Let's open back our code editor. Let's scroll all the way down to the save callback function. And here we need to pass also the alignment variable because we are going to use this and we can basically do exactly the same. So we can uh, scroll back up here and copy these, where is the H2 here on change alignment. We can copy the text alignment alignment and apply it to the H2 inside the style. Since we're already passing the custom color that we defined before, uh, we can paste the text alignment with a new alignment variable. So, Having an inline style will override whatever custom CSS we have specified in our custom Gutenberg block. Once again, let's save this file. Let's open our administration area. Let's update the title here. Update. Uh, Let's refresh. Probably we're going to have an error. Yes, of course. Because we changed the save method, the block stored in the database doesn't match the block that we are generating in our front end. So it's one of the many, many problems of Gutenberg that we saw multiple times. So we can uh, unfortunately remove the block. We're going to see in future lessons how to uh, support deprecated blocks so we don't have to do that, especially if a user is using one of our plugins and we update the block in that plugins. We don't want to force the user to rewrite everything from scratch. So we can definitely uh, take care of that issue but here we can add a new block and let's use our call to action so this is the title and this is the description description i'm gonna I'm not gonna add anything i just wanna force the align left and update and i'm gonna refresh our view post look what we have here we have our title left align even if our custom css if we select this here we have our color black text align left even if our cta container css class has a text align on center here this inline style has a higher hierarchy than the css declare so we are overriding the default style that's perfect now we have a little problem because since in the same custom block we have two rich text island element, in our case the title and then a simple paragraph, uh, we are forced to use the same type of alignment for both of them because, uh, what is it, remove this block, because Gutenberg doesn't allow us to have multiple block controls, multiple alignment controls for different elements in the same uh, custom block. If we wanted to implement something separate, we would need to have an inner block so each block would be separate and uh, you can definitely do it since all these elements are uh, standalone elements like this is an h tag like it's a heading block this is a paragraph block you can build this entire block by reusing inner blocks and this will allow you to better control these elements but in this case just to keep it consistent we're going to apply the same style also to the paragraph description because we don't want to have different styles so let's open our uh, code editor once again scroll all the way down here and we can simply uh, basically copy the style here and apply it also to the uh description paragraph but in this case we don't have a title color or a body color because we decided to not implement it but you can do it uh, you can implement it if you want but also in this case we need to uh, copy the style here and attach it to the content paragraph but once again removing the color so now both the title and the paragraph description will have the same alignment and of course because we changed the save method most likely our uh, both front end and back end will have an issue and they will ask yeah the block change blah 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 as usual so we need to remove this block and add a call to action block so title uh, description and now if we select the alignment left both title and description are left aligned which is i guess it's what we wanted so that's pretty much it for today's lesson i hope you enjoyed it. if you did please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and until the next one as usual happy coding